Hey guys, welcome to our channel. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, also subscribe to my channel. In this video with you, I'll talk about the power of not reacting, how to control your emotions, and I hope you find it useful. Do you have a short fuse and are you prone to snapping at the slightest provocation? If so, you need to learn how to better control your emotions. It is simple to get enmeshed in the chaos around us in a world full with unpleasant occurrences. But if you pay attention to your feelings and figure out how to manage them, you could take back control of your life. Regain control of your life and focus on adjusting your behavior with the future in mind. You will discover how to manage your emotions in this video, along with advice on how to handle them in a healthy way. In these highly intense emotional situations, finding your emotional triggers is your top priority. Understanding what triggers your negative emotions is the first step in regaining emotional control. Emotional triggers are things that make you feel irrational or troubled. They may be specific people, events, or places, or they could even be words or phrases, or sense. We must engage in some self-reflection and introspection in this scenario since everyone responds to stimuli differently. But you will be better able to control them if you are aware of the triggers for your emotional reactions. To lash out wildly in wrath. The next step is to exhale slowly and deeply a few times. If you notice that you are becoming too worried, take a deep breath and attempt to stay as calm as you can. Self-control to avoid making a decision that you could later regret. In case being displeased and agitated, one of the best ways to quickly calm down when you're angry is to pay attention to your breathing. This might be a very beneficial tactic when you're feeling extremely stressed out. You may reduce stress and soothe your nervous system by taking three to four quiet, deep breaths. In turn, it helps you relax and feel like you have more control over your emotions. The next piece of advice is to not hold in intense emotions. You would think that suppressing your feelings would make them go away, but this is regrettably untrue. You should choose regulation over suppression when it comes to developing emotional control. Learning to manage your responses requires you to recognize the existence of strong feelings and be aware of them. How to deal with emotions in a way that is as healthy as possible, such as talking about them or writing them down. One must deny that they are feeling anything at all in order to repress their emotions, and they must also make an effort to avoid or dismiss the feelings they are experiencing. Although you can seem to care little about anything, you really do. This could cause a buildup of negative feelings, which might then result in violent conduct down the road. Make sure to use I statements rather than you statements as your fourth piece of guidance. It's likely that when you're provoked your emotions are running all over the place inside of you, but understand that your Your use of language might either help the situation get better or make it worse. When someone says or does anything you don't like, it's simple to become upset and say cruel words every time. Do this or you never listen. However, making comments like these would almost surely enrage and infuriate the other person. As a result, you should take responsibility for your sentiments and acknowledge them rather than placing the blame elsewhere. For instance, use anything rather than you are usually late. Say something along the lines of I worry about your safety when you're late, which makes me unhappy. By doing this, you may avoid casting judgment on how the other person is feeling and keep the dialogue centered on how you are feeling. Don't raise your voice, number 5. It's a sign that you're losing control when you start turning up the volume. When you're unhappy, it's only natural to want to express your emotions and provide your thoughts and views. Despite the fact that doing so would only make the issue worse. In the loudest voice possible. On the other side, your remarks will carry more weight if you retain your calm while speaking with authority. If you can provide proof to support your claim, you could even be able to persuade an opposing party by using reason and data. Maintaining composure improves communication and gives both parties a greater sense of respect. Enabling a more straightforward approach to conflict settlement. Tip no. 6. Do not assume anything. Making assumptions about the intentions or conduct of others without sufficient evidence to support them may lead to the emergence of some quite explosive scenarios. Assumptions might result in damaging judgments since they are based on incomplete information. If you make a guess and then overreact to it, the other person can feel like they are being attacked. 
and they start to overreact as well. Avoid the urge to respond furiously in the future if someone says or does anything that you vehemently disagree with or just don't understand. Draw hasty judgments. Instead, you should question them to clarify their meaning before drawing any conclusions from what they are saying. They will be able to communicate their ideas more clearly as a result, ensuring that both you and the other person fully understand each other's perspectives and proceed in a manner that is useful. Seventh advice, be kind. You run the danger of losing control if you feel as if your emotions are taking control of you. Rather than being realistic about the things going on around you, by them. This is crucial to remember while dealing with a difficult situation that affects another person. But if you want to maintain your cool when things become heated, the capacity for empathy is crucial. The importance of being with others cannot be overstated. You need to put yourself in their shoes and consider the situation from their point of view in order to completely comprehend this. View from their position. No matter how challenging it may seem at times, you must remember that everyone else battles with problems. Issues also can trigger. They can be having a bad day or be struggling with a problem in their personal life. Even if you don't always agree with another person's behavior or their opinions, it's still necessary to have empathy for them. You'll be able to respond in a way that is more appropriate. Take a break at number 8. If you've tried everything to keep your emotions under control but are still struggling, take some time for yourself. It is a practical strategy for preventing exaggerated reactions and amicably resolving conflict. Before really saying anything, it gives you the time to unwind and consider what you want to say or how you want to communicate it. So that you can think more clearly afterwards, you want to get it out of your system. This is particularly useful in situations when the other person makes you feel angry or defensive. It could help to ease the stress to take a moment to yourself before returning to the situation and carrying on. In civil dialogue. Remember that by not responding, you offer yourself the chance to do so. You always have the choice of how you want to feel and how you want to absorb information, even in the most stressful situations. Someone else is provocation you in an effort to elicit a reaction from you. Your emotions and how they affect your actions are within your control. This means that if someone tries to get under your skin, how you respond is ultimately up to you. If you choose to feel anything in reaction to that occurrence. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be educational and feel free to share it with your friends. So that we may continue to make them. To see more videos similar to this one, click the subscribe button. Don't forget to check your notification settings. Thank you for watching.